Hey everyone, this is Grace from Kapwing, and today I'm going to show you five awesome and underrated places to get no copyright music that you can use in your videos for social media. If you don't know already, most popular music is copyrighted, meaning that if you use it in your videos on social media, your videos could get demonetized, taken down, or even cause your account to receive a strike which are all things you definitely want to avoid. With that being said, you can still use music in your videos for free without these things happening as long as you use non-copyrighted music. Now there are a lot of places to find non-copyrighted music, but a lot of these places won't let you access their music for free or they will have music that just doesn't sound very modern. So to make the creation process easier for you, I'll point you to our recommendations for where to get free non-copyright music that you can use easily in your videos. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe to our channel to receive all the tips and advice we have about being a content creator and growing your platform on social media and let's get into the video. Now one thing I will say before I dive into the places you can get good free non-copyright music is that you want to be careful when you are selecting music. One place that a lot of people tend to go to is YouTube, and I definitely did this in the past. It's easy to search for, it's right there. But the thing is that a lot of these channels and places that have non-copyright music, they get that music from artists looking to grow their platform and brand. But once they are bigger artists, sometimes they do go back and monetize songs that were initially non-copyright. I've definitely been there for videos I've made on my personal channel where I thought it was a non-copyright song and then later down the line, like months or even years later, I get copyrighted and I don't get that revenue anymore and I have to switch out the song. You want to avoid all of that from the start and the places I'm about to mention for free non-copyright music will help you do that. So I'm going to first go through all the places I recommend for non-copyright music and then at the very end I'll show you how to use this music easily to add it to your videos, all the links for everything I'm talking about in this video will be in the description below so go check the links out. So my first recommendation is Stream Beats by Harris Heller. So Harris Heller is a Twitch streamer and YouTuber. He is a musician as well and he created a whole collection of music for video creators to use in their videos because he himself has experiences with trying to find good music that's modern for his videos too. While there's only four categories, I feel like this is a good range. You have more EDM or upbeat songs that you could use for intros and outros, and then more lo-fi and chill songs for maybe the middle of your videos or just like more chill areas. You can just go through and browse the songs, listen to them, and then click download to save the actual file to your device. Now my second recommendation is thematic. Thematic feels a little more like Spotify where artists have pages that you can browse through their songs. And what I find really helpful with Thematic is that you can see actual videos that these songs have been used in. So just like previewing to see what kind of music is used in different categories of videos on YouTube. When you browse music, you can also search by genre or mood. One thing you have to do if you do use Thematic is connect your social media accounts such as YouTube or Instagram or anything else to Thematic so that when you use their music, it doesn't get flagged for copyright. Now Thematic has a free version and then they also have a premium version. I found the free version to be perfect for my needs, but if you do want the premium version, we actually have a discount code provided by Thematic where you can get 10% off their premium plan using the code KAPWING10. This code lasts until January 31st, 2021, so if you want to use it, go for it. My third recommendation is the YouTube Audio Library. So this is a audio library that YouTube has created themselves for their YouTube creators and using their music can give you peace of mind because YouTube actually gave it to you themselves. They have a couple genres of music that you can sort through and preview and while I find that these genres are generally good for background music and upbeat music, sometimes I do feel like they're lacking more modern tracks, things like lo-fi, but I still think they are a good easy resource to use where you can just click to download the songs and then take note of if the music requires attribution in the video that you publish or not. My next recommendation is Ben Sound. Ben Sound has a lot of different types of music. I'd say it's generally better for more professional sounds. For example, if you're making a promo video for your channel or for a brand. I used a track from Ben Sound in our What is Kapwing video, which was kind of just an overarching promo for our brand and channel. Their platform is also very easy to use. They have some tags at the top for searching through different genres, and then to download, you can just click download right there. The biggest downside with Ben Sound is that a lot of their songs can sound generic. It's not as good for 
or lo-fi or modern tracks like the other recommendations I've given are. So if you're looking for more modern sounds, definitely look at the options I mentioned previously, but this is a really good option to find more general music for more professional settings. And then my last recommendation is SoundCloud. SoundCloud is last on my list because it can be hit or miss, but it does have some gems. I'd recommend searching things like no copyright music in the search bar or royalty free music to try and find some of these. The annoying part is having to look through every single song, checking what its copyright status is or if you can download it in SoundCloud or if you have to go to an external website to download it, but I have found some good music with SoundCloud. So it definitely still is a valid option. Now to actually use your non-copyright music, you'll need to first download it from the site and make sure you take note of what kind of attribution you'll need to provide to the creators or the platform. Then you can take that audio track and upload it to whatever video editing service you use to add it to videos. Now if you don't know of a good video editing option or just want something quick and simple, our product, Kapwing, is a completely online video editor where you can add music to videos and make other edits as well. It works on any device from computers to Chromebooks, tablets, and phones, so it's a versatile option. Basically, to add your non-copyright music to your video, you can just head to Kapwing, which is the first link in the description below, start a new project, upload your video, and then go to the audio tab and upload your audio track there. That audio track will be played throughout the whole video and the whole project. Then if you want to add more audio tracks or be able to trim where exactly in the video they start and end, you can do that in the timeline. So in the main studio page, you can click timeline, upload your audio tracks there and move them around. And this works for not only music, but also things like voiceovers and sound effects. You can make other edits to your video, like adding text or subtitles or other image overlays and move things around on the canvas. Then once you're ready to finish up, just click the red export button. Your video will load for a few moments and then you'll be able to download it at the end. Make sure you give credit to the artist and the platform, especially taking note of their requirements for using the sounds, and then you're done. Thanks for watching this video. Let us know which platform is your favorite in the comments below. In addition to any other questions you still have for us, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more video editing, content creation, social media tips, and we'll see you in the next video.